First day in pads, what, what was it like being able to uh, ratchet up the intensity a little bit? Yeah, I mean, it feels good to be back, um, be back with the team in pads, um, get to hit a little bit for sure. But, you know, I think we got, we got something special this year for sure. Is this the first time, the first kind of like milestone of training camp, so to speak? You know, you arrive, you kind of get your feet wet for the first few days, and then all of a sudden the pads go on. That's when everyone knows, like, this is for real? Yeah, for sure. You know, this is, you get a good couple of days in um, under your belt, and then pads come on, your legs get a little heavy. You know, it's just part of getting that condition and, um, and uh, just working together again. How's your body feel coming off the short off season? Yeah, you yeah. know, I mean, it's good. Uh, there's obviously little things every year you're going to have, but for the most part, I feel good. I, I personally like the t-shirt look here. Where yeah. it's, it's the Division Champs t-shirt, okay? <laughs> the, f the first, you know, milestone along the way here, but it's all it's already ripped up. Mm -hmm. It's shredded apart. It's, it's yeah. already looking training camp worn for the yep. most part. Oh, yeah. So. You know, credit to Jason Kelsey that um, <laughs> just always holding me. No, just joking. But, um, <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's, it's going to be a good camp, man. I'm excited. All of us are, are really working together, and it's, um, I mean, it's going to be fun. First day in pads, nine on seven drills. You thrived out there. We're knifing your way through the backfield. What was it like to be able to come up and uh, make some big plays there? Yeah, I know. Uh, for me, the coach is kind of putting emphasis on, you know, um, kind of just getting better with my run fits and, and being uh, more efficient in the, in the run game. So coming out and being able to show that I, I worked on it on the, in the off season and stuff like that is, is, is good, felt good. You're someone who established yourself as one of the best special teams players in the league last season. Mm -hmm. Are you hungry for more, though? Are you someone who's like, mm -hmm. I want to be out there on defense. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, every year, as long as I'm, I play in the league, I'm going to get better every single year. You know, my first year, I was just a rookie that was just playing on special teams. Next year, came in and uh, did what I did. And, you know, for this year, I'm going to come in on, on defense and, and be the best. You know, and every year, just grow and grow in, in every category. I, I don't ever want to stop. With, with Kendricks not coming mm -hmm. back, you, you know, obviously there's going to be a change there at the linebacker position. Is that something that you're eyeing up there? Are you saying to yourself, you know, that's one of the goals for you is to be yeah. September 6th out mm -hmm. there with the starting defense? Yeah, for sure. That's definitely a goal of mine um, to be, you know, the starter and, and um, contribute on defense. Is there a preference on weak side, strong side, or is it pretty much you guys yeah. cross training in the way that, you know, offense is going to flip the field anyway, that you're going to be seeing a little of everything? I mean, that's the, that's the beauty of our defense, you know, even um, when me and Nigel are in there together, we, we're switching. It's kind of, you know, both, both sides got to be able to do the same thing. So it's not really a, a defined position and definite spot and stuff. It's, it, everyone's got to be able to do everything. If you can't tell, like we're rotating so many guys in different combinations. We're just, we're just all trying to get a feel. And I think the coaches are doing a great job of trying to get us a, a feel of, of the defense and stuff. How great is it having Hicks back out there on the field? Oh, great, man. That guy's a leader, man. The guy, the guy, um, you know, he comes out and he's ready to work. And to see him go down last year was tough. And but you could see he's hungry this year. Last question, special teams wise, mm -hmm. you were one of the few guys who played over 300 snaps mm -hmm. last season. I think you had the most snaps, like close to 400, like 399. Mm -hmm. In fact, how do you guys go replace on that production? Because you, Clement, mm -hmm. you know, some of the key guys, Najee, some of the mm -hmm. key guys here aren't back on the team this year or are poised for bigger roles mm -hmm. on either offense or defense. Yeah, I mean, you, you know. Um, Coaches did a great job of bringing guys in too. You know, we got guys like uh, Leroy, uh, Reynolds, and Corey Nelson, and and you know, obviously, I don't think my special teams. I think it might be a little less reps, but I I, I still see me being a contribute like con contributing on on that side of the ball and stuff. But we got weapons on there. We're not worried about that at all.